Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 10.6 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine Vx in this figure. So Vx is the voltage across this 20 ohm resistor. But here we are as in FASOR, not in the time domain. But here we already have it all in FASOR, so we can just jump into circuit analysis. So maybe let's put this node here as our ground so v here will equal to zero and let's name this node as node a okay now let's assume the direction of the current so this may be going to the right and this is maybe going to the right this just follow the arrow so it's going up okay now let's use kcl at a right kcl at a Okay, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay. Now the currents that goes in, that is this one and that one. So this one here, remember that this is for Vx from the ground. So the not value here will be for Vx. So I will have for Vx minus Va. Okay, divided by 20. And plus, I think I will have 3 angle of 0 degrees. So, these two is the current, are the currents that goes in. And that will equal to the currents that goes out. So, I will have Va minus 0 divided by the total resistance, which is J10 plus 20 okay okay now let's do this maybe so i will have 4 vx minus va divided by 20 hmm, i think i just erase this zero here so i'll have va here so I want to split this into two fraction. So I will have 4 Vx. 4 Vx over 20. And then minus Va over 20. And then plus 3 angle of 0 degrees. And here I will have Va over J10 plus 20. Okay. Now I will have v, I still have Vx and Va. We need to change it into all Vx. How? I will use the voltage divider here. So I will have voltage divider. Okay, remember that this branch here, I can have that Vx. So I'll have 20. Yeah, Vx, yeah, Vx is equal to 20 divided by 20 plus J10 multiplied by Va. This is Vx, right? And for that, I can rearrange this into Va is equal to 20 plus J10 divided by 20 multiplied by Vx. Okay, now we can substitute this into this one here. So we replace all the Va with, with this one. Okay, let's do that. So I will have 4 Vx over 20 and then minus Okay, let's replace Va by this one. So I will have 20 plus J10 over 20 multiplied by Vx over 20. And I will have plus 3 angle of 0 degrees. And on the right hand side, I will have 
the a here replaced by this this value here so i will have 20 plus j10 divided by 20 multiplied by vx over j10 plus 20 and now let's simplify what we got here this is 20 plus j10 we can cancel this out and this one will be 400 right so now 400 and this one we will have 5 okay now let's rewrite this in the tidier form so i'll have vx over 5 minus 20 plus j10 over 400 uh, vx and then i think i will move this one so i will have minus vx over 20 and that will equal to minus 3 angle of 0 degrees. Okay. Now let's factor out the Vx from here. So I'll have Vx. And I can factor out 1 over 5. Minus 20 plus J10. Divided by 400. And then minus 1 over 20. All of that will equal to minus 3 angle of 0 degrees. So we can simply calculate Vx by dividing minus 3 angle of 0 by all of this. Let's use calculator. So I will have minus 3 and the angle will be 0. Divided by 1 over 5. And then minus, let's get the fraction, 20 plus 10i divided by 400. And then minus 1 over 20. Oh, math error. Why? Why is it math error? Uh, I think that's because this is negative value, right? Okay, maybe we can multiply both sides by minus 1. So, I will have this minus, this minus term here, and this is plus. Why? Because my calculator does not support this. So let's just make it negative value on the denominator. Let's make it negative here. Yeah, I think that's enough. And let's make that into polar coordinates. So I will have 29. Point ten. So I'll have twenty nine point ten. Twenty nine point ten. And the angle. What is the angle? The angle will be minus one six five point ninety six. Minus. Good. Minus one six five point six degrees is it correct yeah i think that's correct so this is the final answer that vx is this passor here and the unit of vx will be for right because this is in ampere and all of that in ohm so this will be in four okay i think that's all let me know if I did make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.